Why are we failing ourselves in an education system? It's a very important topic. And why is it important? Because if we in the West here as mainly a Christian country, of course we have Muslims and Buddhists and Hindus and a whole variety of others and approximately 40,000 Christian denominations, which is a lot. Isn't it best for us to utilize what the Creator has given us with our critical thinking? It's a big thing that we talk about a lot here is that all these variety of topics help us get to know ourselves better. So if we are exposed to more information as children building up in our formative years that our minds are created in such a way that we can cipher through information and let the truth bubble up. I had a Hindu friend of mine tell me just the other day, we're having a conversation about various religions, and he told me that he had a difficulty with understanding this slice of Christianity, where if you do something in this finite space of time, you can be punished for infinity. That was an interesting thing uh, for him to bring up. And so if you, in the grand scheme of things, if we live to be 100 years old, and in the Christian viewpoint, if you never asked Jesus to come into your life and to be saved, during this little tiny piece of time, infant infinity eternity is bigger than we can ever comprehend it's tough for us to even imagine a few thousand years imagine billions upon billions of years and it goes way further than that for eternity so if we say well you didn't do this one thing or um, whatever commandment you broke then you are going to pay that price forever That was hard for him to wrap his mind around. I get it. I totally understand that. I have an issue with that myself. So if we teach, the point is, if we have an educational system that allows us to to learn, hey, how did this uh, religion not only start, how did it grow, what caused it to grow, what were all the, the forces that were upon it and against it and really evaluate it in a non-biased opinion the best we can as humans to try to get the most of the truth as we possibly can. And then the same way for history, instead of just teaching kids like, oh, well, Napoleon did this on this day and this on that day. Uh, We created central banks for this day on that day. And it was for whatever this, just all these things that they, Uh, cram into us and then just say memorize it pass this test but with no real meaningful discussion no why what was the personality type that caused dictators to rise what was fomenting within the hearts and souls and, and the entire spirit of a geographical area a country that gave rise to these different political forces where they were able to allow freedom to flourish or where they were allowing despots to rule. We don't go into that psychology. And the separation of the sciences from um, you know, biochemistry, chemistry, biology, to all the different maths from geometry, algebra, to English, or to different languages, all of the different things that we learn in school, we do them very separately. You know, the bell rings, oh, well, time to go over to this class, totally separate thing. But they're all interconnected in a very powerful way. And to create those disconnects helps divide us like it it is a a separator it's a wedge that unknowingly makes us start thinking as though everything is separate but english has very mathematical characteristics and cadence and format and, and so many i mean all of it is connected it is fascinating but we think of it as all being separated and 
how do we learn by doing the exact opposite what it, nature intends for a child to do is to run around and play and to create methods and uh, processes for people to teach kids in their way of learning and to express themselves and let them laugh and joke and play and at the same time uh, to pay attention. But kids are meant to have energy. We've all been around them. I've babysitted uh, my brothers and sisters growing up and we have a grandbaby and you know we got a lot of friends with little kids and people bring kids on Sundays here for when we get together and talk about these wide variety of topics they're full of energy they want to learn everything they want to figure out um, if you're their friend or not you know if you're gonna uh, play baseball with them or if you're gonna throw a football or you're gonna talk to them in a way that uh is encouraging for them and teaches them something in a fun way and treat them like they are, which they are, little mini adults. I mean, you can talk to them uh, in a way that does not, is not condescending. I mean, most kids can get stuff really, really, really fast. That's why they say if you're going to learn other languages, it's so much better to do it when you're a kid. Yeah, your mind is a, is a sponge. There's a lot of things we should reconsider and think about. And one of the big reasons we don't, and I think it's uh, my dad says this, which I totally disagree with. Well, you know, public school is great for me because it, it was a great place for socialization. I was able to socialize fantastically. Well, I, that's great. I mean, you can socialize fantastically, but that's not the justification for having an education system the way it is now. Because you can socialize in a lot of different ways. It's kind of funny to me. So with that in mind, maybe you can think about different ways of, and leave some comments on how we might be able to improve our educational system, especially the sensitive topics such as politics and religion, where on so many of these videos, I can say anything, like even uh, talking about the uh, eternal punishment for a very finite moment in time. I'm sure that's going to get a huge array of comments that uh, often happen uh, because people are attached so much to their belief system. Anybody who has a, a different thought, a different idea, uh, within you know, a reasonable thought with no malintent, like I'm not putting you down for that thing, but because you have a question about something and you think it is uh, unfair, unjust, doesn't make any sense to you and you want to logically try to figure it out. So many people automatically go, especially uh, dogmatic religious uh, belief systems that people are so attached to and identify with as their person, their ego, uh, just start slamming you down. Uh, I believe that is a system of separation and divide when there's really no reason for that and i appreciate y'all joining us if you find these topics interesting if any of this ever resonates with you then come out and see us on sundays we get together every sunday at 1 15 it is a great time we always have food somebody is always cooking something great and after our topics of discussion we get together in these big beautiful fields and especially in nice weather now that fall is upon us, uh, we'll start meditating outside, going out in nature. We'll say thanks to the cows. We'll show the blueprints of God by uh, planting and everybody, all the people that come out get to participate in having their food for free and utilizing the facilities out here. So y'all are welcome. I'd love to meet y'all and get to know you and talk about uh, wonderful things that elevate our soul and our spirit and help us uh, become closer to the infinite energies around us, God. So thank you and visit us at mysticsoftexas.com, mysticsoftexas.com.